Okay, so it gets a little bit cooler during rainy season. Yeah, then uh, next um, the summer season will start. Actually, it's very hot. It's okay. Very, very hot. Uh, before my friend Italian stayed stayed in Japan uh, to learn Japanese, but summer season he ran away to his country, his home hometown. His hometown is Naples. Once I went to Naples, even Naples is very hot, very similar to Japan. I asked him, how different is it? Oh, I can't share. Sorry. Yeah. Hey. No, I can't hear. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey guys, sorry about that. Hello, um, how's it going? I'm fine, thanks. All right, nice, good to hear. Um, what have you been up to today that, uh... Eh, nothing special. Uh, a normal day. <laughs> okay, normal day. Um, yeah, just teaching classes? Eh, no, because, uh, I have finished uh, the classes. Uh, only exams. Nice, so kind of summertime? Um, I... I have a, an exam uh, with uh, students, and I do. I make uh, seven se soap, 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 soap. Make soap? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. You have an exam. Soap? Soap is something you use to clean yourself with. Soap in Spanish is home. Um... Okay. So you have a, a test where you make soap? Okay. Um, yeah, that's actually super interesting. Um, all right. And sorry, let's go to Karid. How's it going? I'm great. Thank you, sir. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. Yeah. And so uh, what have you been up to today? Excuse me, you are speaking with me? Yeah, Khalid, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, nothing special. 
is taught him the beating uh, itself every day. <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, it's, uh, there is nothing special for today. Uh, okay. Promise. Promises, promises that we will sign contract, uh, contracting uh, with you, but there is nothing true to yet. You have, uh, I didn't uh, trust uh, anything but to catch it in my hand. Okay, so you don't trust anything until you have it in your hand. Yeah, that's a good, a good way to go about living, I guess. Um, for sure. And Amy, welcome to class. Amy, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Doing really well. Thank you for asking. Um, and Amy, what have you been up to today? I uh, just went to work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And how was work? Fun. I have I had parent teacher conference today. So a lot Oof. of drama I'm <laughs> playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's my favorite part about my job is I don't have to meet with your parents. <laughs> but it went well, I have to say. I'm nice. happy. I'm happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> All right. And um, who else do we have? Mark, how's it going? Hello. Who are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, and Mark, what have you been up to today? What did you do today? Oh, today was my day off, so I didn't have to teach, so I stayed at home watching TV shows, just chilling out. It was awesome. Cool. That sounds great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what TV shows do you watch? Sorry, Mark, what TV shows do you watch? I watch uh, The Mother Family. And also, I'm finishing The Voice and Game of Thrones. I'm trying to, to be up to date. This, okay. this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's almost sometimes difficult to be up to date with all of the new shows that they've got. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. All right. And uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, how's it going? Mm, hi. I'm fine. And you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. um, Rebecca, I do not recognize your profile picture. Have I had you in class before? No, that's my first class, actually. OK, nice. It's good to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. OK, we've got a couple of Brazilians in class today. Um, and what do you like to do for fun? What do you do in your free time? Uh, well, I like to meet with my friends, maybe go to a bar or to the movies. I like to watch TV series, too. OK. Well, what TV series do you like? Mm, now I'm watching The Following. The Following? Uh, yeah, The Following. Uh, okay. Lie, Lie to Me and Mother Family. I also watch nice. it. Yeah. Cool. Some good shows. All right. And yeah, like I said, it's good to meet you, Rebecca. Good um, to meet you. Alejandro, how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Perfect, good to hear. Uh, Alejandro, what did you do today? Uh, it, it was a normal working day. Um, after that, I am learning to play the harmonica. Cool, I'm a little bit jealous. Um, <laughs> I'd like to know how to play harmonica. Uh, it helps when you can't sing. Uh, yes, but I I am beginner. I am starting okay. uh, today. Cool. I always have to start somewhere. Uh, and Natalia, Natalia, welcome to class. Hello. Thank you. Hi. You're welcome. How's it going? So everything's okay. Okay. And Natalia, uh, what have you been up to today? What have you done? Yeah, what have you done today? What have you done? Yeah, so, well, actually, I'm a teacher, so uh, I have worked uh, today, so I have taught. Uh, uh, okay. Um, 
And Nathaniel, where are you? F okay. You taught English? No, so I have taught Finnish. I've taught Finnish. I'm not yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. What is. You teach a finishing school? I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, so, well, Finnish is uh, the language that is spoken in Finland, and so I have, I have taught Finnish. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Perfect. And, um, Natalia, I, I don't think I've had you in class either before. Um, you're from Finland? No, I'm from Russia, but uh, so in Russia I teach Finnish. <laughs> okay. So okay, this, cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, nice. And it's good to meet you, Natalia. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh, and okay. Khaid? Yeah. Khaid or Red? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Hi, teacher. It's Ra'ed. Ra'ed. Yeah. Okay. Ra'ed, where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Slovenia, okay. No, no, it's Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, okay. And, um, yeah, what do you like to do for fun, Raed? Actually, watching football. One more time? Pardon me, can I get, get your question, please? Yes. Uh, what do you do for fun? What do you like to do in your free time? Yeah, watching football. Ah, okay. And do you have a favorite team? Uh, actually, yes, but it's locally. Okay. What's the local team? Uh, local team is uh, uh, Al Ahli National mm -hmm. Club. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, it's good to meet you. Uh, I'm, on, I'm also. <laughs> A really big fan of soccer uh, or football, and cool. I think we're good. Let's get started with today's class, and let's start with Adela. Can you read the title and the next lines? Okay, business English. Today we will learn business expressions. Talk about uh, sales, sales and customer satisfaction. Practice when to use make and when to use uh, to and read a comic. Good. Um, and let's start here. Adela, can you ask Alejandro the first question? Alejandro, do you think you will be a tough person to work for? Explain. Um, what the meaning of tough? Adela, can you explain what tough means? Uh, I think uh, a tough person is a difficult person to work uh, with uh, with uh, him. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, I, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I uh, teach uh, several times uh, difficult uh, people uh, at, my, at my work. Um. Um, I think it's not a problem for me. It's a little bit different. So the question, if you were a boss, would you be a hard boss to work for? Would you be a, a difficult boss to work for? Very demanding. I mean, mm, yeah. So tough could mean a couple different things. It could mean very demanding, very mean, something like that. Um, so there are a lot of different things. Demanding person? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, mm, so yes, would the employee... Depending on uh, what kind of job. I think, just generally, would your employees think that you were a difficult person to work for. Ah, ah okay, okay. Uh, mm, uh, yes, uh, 
no, it's uh, difficult for the group and uh, for the uh, um, and, uh, the company uh, to take uh, difficult persons. Uh, but it's very difficult uh, in the interview to identify uh, that kind of mm. person. I think you're not quite getting the question. You're close. Um, so maybe if you were the boss, would your employees like you? or dislike you, and why? Um, 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 ah, oh, OK. It depends on what kind of spot boss uh, <laughs> I am. <laughs> yes, what kind of boss would you be? Yes. Uh, uh, if uh, I uh, restrict you, uh, or difficult boss, uh, maybe it would be very difficult to work with me. Okay. What about you, Khaled? Would you be a difficult boss to work for? Uh, no, I don't think that. Why not? Uh, it is uh, something which is related to my personality. I'm not. I don't like to be strict. I don't like to be uh, to be uh, uh, to to. I I, I uh, would like to respond. To my response must be. Uh, I don't uh, like to be a poem that I am a strict man and, and I, uh, I, uh, I'm like a machine. No, it's, uh, it doesn't, get, doesn't go in this way. But you have to be as you are. Don't uh, act in. If you can't act? We, no, we, we can act, but, but it, is my, uh, it is not my personality. I don't like to, 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 uh, to act. OK. OK, good. And so because you're not very strict, I think you'd, be, you'd think you'd be a good boss to work for. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be too tough. All right. Yes. All right. And Khalid, can you ask Amy the next question? Uh, would you include your own name and business name? Why or why not? Oh. I don't think so. Um, because I like to be creative with names. OK. You had a bakery. What would you call your bakery? And then you're gonna take the name that I'm gonna tell you right now. No, <laughs> I won't give you the name. <laughs> okay. But I used to have a bakery. Hold on. I used to have a bakery, and um, it was Ariana's bakery. Yeah, it was okay. the name of somebody else. It was somebody else's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you a question here? Yes. Say the, the name of McDonald's. You know McDonald's is famous. Yes. We, uh, it's from his name, his family name, McDonald's. Mm, maybe. But <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I want the answer. Is a name. I think so. It's related to the question here. Uh, I can look it up, though, really quickly. Yep, it was his name. The founders were Maurice McDonald and Richard McDonald, and also Ray Kroc. Uh, so there are two McDonald's. Thank Good you question. Sir. Yeah. 
And doo -doo -doo. I think we're good. Uh, Amy, can you ask Mark the next question? Do you think you have a good head for business? Explain. Mm, I don't think so. You know, I'm 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 such a big spender, and so I don't think I w I would succeed in business. <laughs> Good. It's a really good answer. And yeah. Does anybody have any questions here? So yes, uh, what's the meaning of Godhead? Uh, let's have Mark. Can you explain? It means I will do. I am. Um, do the right decisions, is that right, do? Make the right decisions. Make, make the right decisions uh, for my business, you understand, you know? Yeah, have a good head for something, it just means you make the right decisions in a, in a field, maybe. In so a, field. a good head for sports could be somebody who's really, who understands strategy in sports. Your mind is good for that specific thing. Um, a good head for business would be somebody who would understand and do well in business. Somebody with a good head for relationships would, you know, typically have good relationships and be able to understand other people, maybe. Does that make sense? Does that answer your question? I'm not sure whose question it was. Okay. Five. Any other questions here? No. Okay. Let's look at some of these words. Uh, Natalia, can you read the words? Yeah. So, bottom line, choose something over, blow by blow, blew it, back to the drawing board, across the board, Call the shots. And I lost you. Uh, um, Natalia, are you there? Yes, hello. Hey, there you are. Um, so can you read the last two? Yeah, so... Uh, Cut our losses and cut corners. Good. Okay. Natalia, are there any of these words that you know? Uh, so actually, it seems to me that uh, I don't know any of them because I understand that uh, here they are used in some specific meaning connected with business and uh, so. So I can yeah. guess that maybe bottom line, uh, maybe the synonym of deadline, but I'm not sure again. Not quite deadline. Mm. Um, okay, who knows what the bottom line is? Does anybody know? Maybe uh, it's related with action or something like that, or pounds. It's related with action? Um, invest, not invest you, pounds. Not quite. No. Uh, it's a it's little related, bit related with the uh, balance. Uh, maybe the minimum you need uh, sell to to uh, to have the not success, but uh, to to have the business to continue with the business. Yeah. Um. To some extent, generally. The bottom line, it deals with balances. It comes from, you know, math. Um, so the bottom line is like the most important thing. So you can say the bottom line, the company's bottom line, is the amount of money the company has either made or lost. The money the company has made or lost in a year. That it could be the company's bottom line. 
if you're talking about the bottom line is that we need to do something, the most important thing. So there are a lot of different factors that come into account, but we're going to ignore the factors and we're going to think about only the bottom line. Does that make sense? Is it like a boundary? Is it like, pardon? I don't know, like boundaries. I'm just thinking about when you say don't cross the bottom line. Not. Don't you cross know what the I mean? Line. Like when, yeah, they'll cross the line, but it's like this is my my bottom line. Like it's up to here. Like you can't mm. go any farther. That would be the last straw. Oh. Okay. Last straw. So mm. again, it's a little bit. It's a little bit different. Um, that's the last straw. That was my last straw. Um, the bottom line you could use, um, I know there are a lot of things we need to do, but the bottom line is that we need to make more money. The bottom line, the most important thing, like the thing that really matters, is a really common way of using it in business. Does that make sense to everybody? Uh, yes, uh, you can use uh, two in a negotiation for the mm, the last price you can, uh, for example, in a bargain, uh, mm -hmm. the price uh, you don't uh, uh, decrease more, uh, the minimum, can be used uh, this expression too or no? We would use the minimum, that's the minimum. minimum. Okay. It'll do. Um, you could, if you're in a bargain, you could say the bottom line is that we need this, and we won't. I mean, like, you're giving us a lot of good things, but the bottom line is we need a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's like the only thing that matters is that we need that extra thing. Um, hopefully, that makes sense to everybody. What about choose something over? Anybody have any ideas about this? Is it to sell everything until it's over? Not, no. no. It's to, to reflect about something. Mm -hmm. To think about something. Natalia, can you use that in a sentence? Um, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I'll let Natalia do this one. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, shall I make a sentence with it? Yes. Uh huh. So, well, uh, I was uh, chewing over uh, the final, uh, okay, the final decision, for instance, uh, concerning our business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was chewing over the final decision concerning our business. Perfect. Blow by blow. Does anybody know what blow by blow means? It's something like a great description about something. A good description. You could describe something blow by blow, I suppose. Um, um, hmm? Is it step by step? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And so it comes from boxing when radio announcers would describe fights blow by blow. So every single hit that there was, they would describe. So it's a blow by blow. It's a step by step. So it's when you're using to describe something, generally. Um, OK, what about blew it? Anybody know what blue it means? Can I guess a meaning? It's not the same. It's quite different, actually. When you make mistakes? Mm-hmm. And ruin an opportunity. Ruin a chance. Raed, do you think you could make this in a sentence?
I think uh, I think um, my friend blew it my plan, my vacation plan. My friends <coughs> on my you, vacation? Yeah, my vacation plan. Okay. Um, yeah. That could work. Um, yeah, for sure. So he ruined your vacation plan. Generally, it's when we have an opportunity to do something, so we'll use it often in sports. So he had a chance to win the game, but he totally blew it when he missed that last shot. Um, so he ruined that chance. But that's a good sentence, too, I um, What about across, or back to the drawing board? Anybody know? To plan something again? Yeah. So to plan something again from the beginning? Yeah. And Rebecca, do you think you could use that in a sentence? Mm. Uh, if I miss a, a test, a, a test in the university, and I have to do it again, I'm back to the drawing bo board. Hmm. Could it be? Maybe mm -hmm. if you say if I when you messed up the test, messed up the project would even be better. When I messed oh, up yeah. the project, I had to go back to the drawing board and okay. start it again. So when you go back to the drawing board, it's something that you make generally that you have to start from the beginning again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Could you try another sentence? Mm, let me think. Mm. If if I'm I'm cleaning the house and I split a glass of coke, I'm back to the drawing board. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and so you might not be all the way back to the drawing board. I hope, unless it was a really big glass of coke. But <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, yeah. Okay. And what about the next one? Any ideas? Can I share, share? Yeah. Across the board, you, uh, I think it's your, exceeded your uh, limitations. Not quite. Exceed your limitations, no. Any other ideas? Hmm. To be fair? Like... Uh, that's above the board. Uh, uh, oh. I passed. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, though. Any other ideas? In all aspects of something. So, everywhere. Um, so we could say stocks are up across the board, which would mean that all the stocks are up. Um, Adela, do you think you could make a sentence with across the board? Uh, I try. Um, the the uh, the company uh, has made um, uh, ac across the board. Uh, can be adjective too, no? Mm. Finish your sentence. Uh, across the board, uh, um, products for uh, 
expand yeah. your production. To expand your production, no? maybe. Not quite. Yeah. So. Mm, I, yeah. Um, has made across. Uh, um, uh, the company has made across the um, the section. Oh, um, they expand for a different country. No, has made across uh, on use or can use in this context to expand. You could say uh, the company has expanded across the board. Like every part of the company expanded. Expanded across the board. Or uh, nowadays he has a section in other countries. Yeah, um, that could work. Generally, it's more like in all aspects of something a little bit smaller. The company made cuts across the board, so somebody f got fired from every position. Or you could say, um, you know, the student passed his courses across the board, um, or he failed across the board. He failed every single class. Um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, call the shots. Anybody know? Making make decisions. Mm -hmm. Make the decisions. So the boss calls the shots. Uh, Alejandro, how would you use that in a sentence? Uh, maybe in your life uh, you need to call the shots. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, frequently. Frequently? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, frequently. <laughs> All right, perfect. And what about cut our losses? Anybody have any ideas? To spend less money? A little bit different. This is a tricky one. To so stop investing in something that is losing money. So if you gamble, you go to the casino with $500, and you lose $250. You can cut your losses and go home. So you acknowledge that you will not make that $250 back. You cut your losses. You cut that money that you lost out of your mind, and you go home with the $250 that you still have. Does that make sense? Yeah. OK. Uh, what about cut corners? Any ideas? Save money. Yeah, save money by doing what? By getting cheap things? I don't know. Yeah, getting cheap things. Doing things poorly. Doing things quickly. So cut corners has negative implications, negative connotations, if that makes sense. Any questions here? Some hard ones. Um, let's practice them a little bit. Uh, and let's start with Khaled. Khaled, can you yes. read the title and the first one? Fill in the blanks, conjugated the verb. The, why don't you blank, blank uh, my? By proposition, why I crunch these numbers? Why? To my test, crunch is. Why don't you do that to the top? Why cross the I can I choose uh, 
chew, chew over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chew over is perfect. Yep, good. And how do you conjugate this verb, Khaled? Excuse me, three this one. We also have to conjugate it, so we need to change the tense. We cannot leave it in the uh, infinitive. Okay. Why don't you choose your own my position? Why I why you why I am crunching? Well, I... Well, I'm crunching. Okay, yeah. I'll let that go. That's for sure good. Nice. You could also use the present tense, while I crunch. But perfect. Nicely done. Amy, what about the next one? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> um, the initiative totally crashed. Tomorrow we will try to start from scratch. Um. Yeah, I don't understand what that to go means. Like, do, do I have to pick one of those that are on the on the right? You have to conjugate the verb to go. Oh, to go. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to try. To start from scratch. Here we need and one. And then I need one of those. I'm sorry. Tomorrow <laughs> we are going to we're going to uh wait we're going across the board to try to start from scratch. We're going everywhere to start. What's scratch? From from the beginning. Mhm. Mm yeah. <clears throat> so, we're going everywhere to try to start from the beginning. Mm, not across okay. the board. No. Mm -hmm. uh, back to the drawing board. Yeah. Thank you. And scratch is generally like the most basic ingredients. So if you're starting something from scratch, you're doing it from the basic, basic ingredients. Does that make sense? It does. You see okay. my cupcakes? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely go for a cupcake right now. All right. And Natalia, what about the next one? Mm -hmm. Numbers uh, were falling. Um, across the board these past months, uh, we need to, to increase sales now. Nice. And are falling because it's up until now. So numbers uh, have been falling. Yeah, good. Perfect, really nice job, Natalia. Rebecca, what about the next one? Mm, we can't um, cut corners anymore. We need quality products, even if they will cost more. I don't think I'd use the future here. There's another tense if, that sounds better. If they cost more. Perfect. Good job. Really nicely done. Adela, what about the next one? Sorry, Mark called the shot. If things, if things, um, if things uh, have have improved recently, it's because uh, of his initiative. Good. Um, you're missing something here. Uh, Call him? No. Uh, it's part of this. Ah, word. calls. Calls. Sorry. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> yes. A called. 
Carlos is good. Mark calls the shots. He's the boss. Okay. If, if things have improved recently, it's because of his initiatives. Yeah. Perfect. Does anybody have any questions here? Alright. Um, and next, would you guys like to read a comic or do a role play? Any opinions? Comic. Alright. Let's look here then. And let's start with Karin. Or wait, are we with Alejandro? Yeah, Alejandro, can you read in those first two blocks the role of Susie the girl? And Karin, can you read the role of Calvin, the little boy? Okay. Um if, if fifty bucks a glass? That's right. Would you want some? Uh, how do you justify uh, changing fifty dollars? Supply and demand. <laughs> Good. Uh, and so let's look, Alejandro. Justify. Uh, justify. Sorry. Yes. And charging. Charging. Good, charging. And nice. What's happening here, Khaled? Uh, uh, in this picture, yes, sir. Asking yeah, these is. two pictures. Uh, he is selling uh, something uh, which I didn't know exactly, but it's so expensive. Uh, and he, uh, the seller here say that it is uh, according to the supply and demand. If you uh, if the the goods are few in the market, uh, the <laughs> price will be high. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So he's citing an economic rule. <laughs> and let's have Amy. Can you read the role of Susie here? And Natalia, can you read the role of Calvin? Where's the demand? I don't see any demand. There's lots of... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, there's lots of demand. Yeah. Sure. As the sole stockholder in this enterprise, I demand monstrous profit on my investment. <laughs> nice. Really good pronunciation. Um, Amy, what's happening here? <laughs> um, so, the, Susie, right? That's her name. Susie, yeah. She, yeah, she complains of... Um, of being of him being so of him selling ex expensive um, lemonade and um, and he's just you know like um, <clears throat> he get a little angry with her <laughs> because he doesn't see um, where he's trying to go with his business. Yeah, to some extent. Natalia, <laughs> what is his understanding of supply and demand? Is his understanding of supply and demand correct or incorrect? Oh, well, so actually, I suppose that uh, his understanding of supply and demand is wrong. So here there is uh, a play upon uh, words. Uh, uh -huh. So. Supply and demand is an economic law, but here, uh, so there, there is just everyday meaning of the word demand. So I demand means I want uh, <laughs> yeah. or something. Perfect. Exactly. Sounds like you got it perfectly. Really good explanation. Let's have, let's have Natalia. Can you read? Or sorry, Rebecca. Can you read the next? Uh, yeah. Oh. The next square, and then have Adela. Can you read the one after? Uh, okay. And as president and CEO of the company, I demand an exorbitant annual salary. And uh, as my own employee, I demand a high hours uh, pay and all sorts of company benefits. And then there's overhead and actual production cost. Nice. Okay, um, and let's look, 
Rebecca, um, exorbitant. Exorbitant. Nice. And so again, that's like a more like a dent instead of an exorbitant. Um, one of those flapping rules. Um, nicely done. And then annual. 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 Exorbitant. No, exorbitant annual. Perfect. Exorbitant annual salary. Good. Okay. And Adela, can you repeat How hourly? Hourly. No H. Hourly. Hourly. Mm -hmm. Production. Production. Good. Okay. And Rebecca, can you tell us what's happening here? Um, yes. Well, he is the boss and the employee, so he wants a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so he put the price just so high that he can get it. Yeah, so he can get everything he wants. Um, <laughs> and let's have uh, Alejandro, can you play Susie? And Khalid, can you play uh, Calvin in the next two? Uh, but it looks like you just drew uh, lemon in some uh, struct water. Well, I have to cut expenses, expenses somewhere if I want to stay competitive. Alejandro? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what if uh, I got sick from that? Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's I fun. don't. I eat Imperial. Bosha. What's uh, this? Uh, the first one? Okay. And butter is the motto we stand behind. I would have to charge more if, uh, if we forward health and environmental procedures. <laughs> no. Okay. I, oh, I cannot read these words here. It's okay. You did a good job. Regulations. Problem. Regulations. Regulations. Yes, yes. Okay. And Javier Emtor is let the buyer beware. Um, so that's what that means. And then let's have Alejandro. Can you repeat sludge? Sludge. Mm -hmm. And then Khaled, can you repeat? Uh, I have to cut expenses somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere? Yeah, with this we want to exaggerate it a little bit because he's bolded it. So I have to cut expenses somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, yes. <laughs> You're doing a good job. That's the normal pronunciation. Just remember, when we've got words that are bolded, we want to emphasize them more. So. For this case, it'd be somewhere. And then competitive, competitive. So again, it almost ends with a D, competitive. Can you repeat that one more time, Khaled? Competitive? Do you, you want me to read, read it again? Competitive? Competitive. Or the meaning of it? Yep. Competitive it means that you have to stay in the race with your race with the, with the other companies. Yeah. Just be aware that it almost has a D sound at the end. So instead of saying competitive, it generally sounds like competitive. Competitive, yes. <laughs> okay, good. It's a tricky one, though. Um, and then followed. Khaled, followed. Followed? Followed. followed. I have a problem with this uh, word. 
from many years. Followed. Followed. One syllable or two? Followed. Two syllables. Followed. Followed. Uh, yes, but really, we don't have to stress in the second uh, part. Yeah, so the first part Followed. is stressed. Uh-huh, good. Yes, yes. And then re regulations. Regulations. Perfect. And there, uh, it's Go ahead. There is big distance between uh, the written word and the pronounce its pronunciation. Yeah. It's ready to find word that you word that you uh, pronounce it that as it's written. <laughs> it is a little bit rare in English. Um, yeah. And let's have Amy. Uh, can you play uh, Susie and Natalia? Can you play Calvin? You're out of your mind. I'm going home to drink something else. Sure. Put me out of a job. It's you and business types who ruin the economy. Natalia? Natalia? Yes, yes. Can you read the last one? Uh huh. So, I need to be. Subsidized. Subsidized. Good. Um, I wish I could explain this with you guys a little bit more. I do have to go. Um, I've got another class right after this. If you want to join, I'd love to have you. Thank you guys for coming in. and It was good to see you guys and to meet you guys. For those of